All right, going to try to get a shot of the so-called blood moon for you. I can see it with my eye pretty good, but it's probably not coming up on the camera. The camera doesn't like night shots. Like right there, it's not sure what it's focusing in on. Oops. See if I can get a better shot. All the neighbors are coming out now. <laughs> yeah, they're going. <laughs> it was completely dark, and I couldn't. E I didn't even know the moon was up there, and now it's starting to show up. Watching it for about half an hour. Oh, right here's good. Uh, that's the easy. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Stop. Uh, I always sit down the back patio so I can see, but uh, this moon kind of like is still not clear. So I'm <clears throat> at a different spot now. I'm going to try. Um, Zooming in. See how this works there. I think what's going to happen is it's going to completely turn white. Or maybe, yeah, maybe I got it backwards. Maybe it was up there and now it's turning dark. I don't know. Really 
try to adjust the camera here. That's not too good. Alright, gonna give you an update. It's turning kind of white color now. Zoom in a little bit. I wish I could have caught it on film there. A big old huge shooting star went by. It was a slow one too. It's a, that meant it was probably pretty close to the ground, so to speak, not way up in the atmosphere. Um, anyhow, it's starting to turn whiter. It was... Uh, I don't know if it'll show up on the camera or not, but it was pretty, uh, pretty red. It almost looked like when uh, you know you have they're burning the fields and it's all smoky red color. But this is a super clear night tonight, and uh, hardly any clouds in the sky at all. And uh, so all the orangeness, if it shows up, was uh, had to do with the Earth casting a shadow on the moon. And I guess the moon's supposed to be at the closest point. Um, to the earth and that's why it looks supposedly supposed to look really bright so it's a unique event in that it uh, is close so it's going to be really bright and at the same time um, this happens to be a day there that earth is casting a shadow on the moon anyway it's not I thought it would be going quicker than this it seems to be going kind of slow I'm going to bump the camera here a little bit it's kind of neat too as you don't realize how fast the moon moves until you put a camera on it and just let it sit. You have to adjust it because the moon is moving relative to the earth. Oh, so go ahead and pause it here. Okay, give you a little update here. On the bottom of it, starting to turn really bright, which is really cool. See if I can get it on camera. So, the bottom is like how bright it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be all white. And I think the Earth's shadow is moving off of it. And it's probably taking longer than I suspected because the sun just went down not too long ago. Oops. And so it's chasing the moon's rising as the sun's setting. So it's kind of like the moon's chasing the sun and the Earth's in between it. So, that's it probably, that's a little bit why it's taking longer. Of course, you know, the Earth's rotating around the sun. That's pretty cool looking. I hope this kind of shows up on the camera. Probably not. It's starting to get really bright on the bottom there, at least in the camera it looks like. Okay, now it's starting to get brighter. That's kind of cool. What's really cool is if is when it turns full, you'll see how bright actually the moon is tonight. It's like supposed to be one of the brightest moons of the year. So that's kind of neat there. Okay, just gonna do one last shot. Uh, it's taking a lot longer than I thought. But let's see how this comes out. It's pretty bright. And it's kind of cool looking. So it's almost, almost halfway. And as you can see, it's gonna be a really bright moon when it does go full moon. I don't think I'm gonna stay out here for it though. See how close I can get him. Oh, that's it. Anyways, it looks really cool through binoculars. Um, wish my camera could pick that up. I don't know if it's starting to move kind of fast now. I don't know if it's showing up on film or not.
I don't know if that's an optical illusion, but it looks like it's moving as we're watching it. Come back out just a hair. I think I, I think I can see it moving, but it's probably going so slow it doesn't look like it on the camera. This looks kind of cool. It's kind of making an optical illusion on the camera. I don't know if it's going to show up or not. That's not really what it looks like and as we're looking at it although with your eye um it almost looks a little bit green at the band the camera there if that's shown the way it looks through the lens right now to me it looks like you know it's kind of like glowing on the bottom i don't know if that's going to show up on the camera or not All right, here's the last shot, and here's what the moon's supposed to look like today. You can see it's pretty, pretty bright.